hello this is dr ajinkya here so in this video today guys i'm gonna uh, teach you a simple concept of how you can differentiate between a soft tissue window and a bony window on a given ct scan so i've been getting a lot of questions actually uh, many young surgeons uh, juniors uh, have difficulty in you know identifying a soft tissue window from a bony window so today's video i'm gonna make sure after watching this video uh, i'll be sure that uh, you can easily identify a bone and a soft tissue window so as you can see on the screen right here on the left side what you see is a, a soft tissue window so just remember what you see on the left is a soft tissue window and on the right what you see is a bony window so there are three points on how you can actually differentiate between them so look very carefully so this is a soft tissue window this is a bony window so i'm giving i'm giving you a sideways view so that you can uh, easily compare the three points so let's begin the first point so what is the difference you can see between the two scans okay so the soft tissue window is kind of bright it is illuminating okay the bone in this scan is bright white it is actually illuminating a lot if you see the same scan the same view in a bony window what you see here is that the bone is not that bright it is not illuminating and this scan is kind of dark gray if you can see this scan is much brighter this scan is much darker and grayish so that's the first thing you're gonna look for the scan uh, whether the brightness is there whether it is illuminating or not so if it's like this it's a soft tissue if it's like this it's a bony window so that was the first point the second point is the most important point so look very carefully if you're going to look at the bones over here and the bones over here there's a huge difference so if i zoom this for you guys uh you can you can actually see the difference between the two bones area so in this scan, as you can see, uh, this is a bony, this is a maxillary sinus. This is a nasal mass having a bony component. So you can actually see the areas of the bone very clearly. The, uh, this is the maxillary posterior aspect, this is the pterygoid process. That's the uh, back of sphenoid sinus. So you can see the outer table and the inner uh, cancellous part. So it's kind of very well differentiated, okay? So here you can actually see the outer table the anterior table the posterior table with the uh, inter bony marrow and the cancellous part uh, between the bone you know it's kind of very easily differentiated so you can see the entire scan if you can go behind and below you can actually see uh, the outer table the cortical bone well differentiated from the inner aspects of the uh, bony anatomy so if you compare the same scan on the soft tissue window over here this all disappears so it just appears as one uniform hyper intense illuminating bone so in this scan you cannot actually differentiate between the cortical outer inner table nothing you cannot see any structure it is just one uniform hyper dense structure that's it so it is it is very impossible to study bone on this scan so just imagine so just remember this uh, image of the bone and in the bone window and the bone on the soft tissue window so if you see something like this with a very good picture of the bone it is a bony window and if you see something like this a white uniform hyper dense illuminating bone it's a soft tissue window always remember that so you cannot study the bone on this but you can study the bone in detail on this so it's quite evident and now easy for you guys to make sure that next time you read a scan you can now easily differentiate between a so the soft tissue here and a bony window over here so these were the two points right now the third point which i want to stress on is that now this scan is purely a soft tissue scan so as you can see the soft tissue appears more uh, intense see the soft tissue is much brighter and uh, you can actually make out the anatomy of the soft tissue differentiation with the bony area so it's very easy uh, to identify soft tissues on a soft tissue window so if you see the same thing on a bony window over here this is a bony window all throughout so the soft tissue appears darkish gray 
and uh, the anatomy to differentiate them the it is as compared to the soft tissue window a bit you know a bit uh, difficult to study so the soft tissues like the orbit the periorbita the uh, muscles in the infratemporal fossa are very well visualized uh, on a soft tissue scan as compared to the uh, bone window scan so these are the three points you can basically remember so you can either, you can easily differentiate between a bone and a soft tissue window so i hope this video was really helpful for you guys so keep on reading the scans and try to understand the difference so that it's very easy for you guys to understand the difference between a soft tissue and a bony window so uh